Hello, Xero here. We now have a standalone extermination mode with AI enemies, multiple levels and its own giant boss. Today I wanted to share some of the thought process behind the mode to give you an idea what to maybe expect in the future. So, why spiders? Well, you've seen the Grey Swarm cinematic. They make for both creepy and formidable foe. Besides, we wanted to draw a line between smart and skillful real players and the mindless horde of AI bots. Spiders attack in waves and rely on sheer numbers rather than teamplay and tactics. They grew smarter since they first appeared in the game. But uh, there is still a huge difference between them and the player. This creates unique combat dynamic not seen in the main PvP part of the game. And of course, I wouldn't be completely honest if I didn't mention Bastion. As many of you have guessed, the mythical quadruped prototype was a major inspiration behind the extermination mode. Hello, I'm DG, game designer at War Robots Project. After initial tests, we quickly understood that a PvE mode with just one enemy type would lack replayability. So we came up with six unique spiders. The regular soldiers of the Grey Swarm are Tix, Tarantulas and the Recluse Artillery guys. Tix try to swarm you up, Tarantulas shoot corrosion projectile from distance making life miserable for flying robots, and Recluse bombard you with AoE forcing you to always be on the move. Then there's Elite Cohort. Wanderers, Karakurts and Bird Eaters. Wanderers close the gap fast and force you to fight in melee, while Karakurts and Bird Eaters snipe you from afar. When all these adversaries start working together, the PvE matches become a real challenge, and there is always room for improving your tactics, hitting a better time score. Hello, I'm Dan the Riker. We were quite satisfied with how many combat scenarios we can put together with our six enemy types. But we simply couldn't let go of that bastion idea that inspired us in the first place. So, the legendary robot that never saw the light of day finally became a thing. As you can see, this is uh, the largest robot in the long history of war robots. And uh, it's one of the strongest ones so far too. To make Bastion fights less predictable, we supplied our giant with a teleportability. But it worked differently from what you see with a scorpion or an Amugia. To move an object uh, of that size around the map, we had to develop additional settings and conditions. The first version of Bastion used a list to choose where to teleport next, just like Demeter. This, however, often led to it ending up outside the now mesh zone, where no robot can walk. So, after a couple initial runs on the test server, we trained our AI Titan in the choosing teleportation spots all on its own. Now, Bastion stands the largest, the toughest and the smartest of all the Grey Swarm. The intrigue of the whole development process resolved around one question. Would we be able to make extermination runs even remotely as interesting as fighting real players? And we approach the question very seriously. First of all, we focus on the sense of progression. An extermination battle begins with relatively simple encounters that you dispatch with ease. The difficulty then ramps up with each consecutive wave of enemies. The wave mechanics make the increase in difficulty obvious to a player and allow for tactical planning. You've made it past a wave of ticks? Congratulations! Now you can take a breath, look around and choose your tactics for the next one. Secondly, we came up with level modifiers and different goals. If the goal is to take as little damage as possible, you will use cover a lot and stick to high mobility builds. When you need to destroy as many spiders as possible, that is a whole different story. Besides, we can mix enemy types according to level modifiers. This makes your battles more intense and your victories more valuable. Choosing the right maps is also important. There should be always a risk of getting cornered and at the same time you should always be able to play to your strength to avoid getting cornered. Residential blocks on Rome, narrow streets on that city, vast open areas on Canyon. We choose the right enemy types for the map and each level plays in its own unique way. 
So, where do we go from here? Based on extermination statistics, you've shown genuine interest in PvE. At this point, we can say that the mode stays. We'll keep playing around with its balance and tweaking the intelligence of the AI horde. Uh, and if mode proves to be popular in the long term, we already have a lot of exciting content in plans. Tell us what you liked and didn't like about the mod in the comments. See you in the next one!